Hello, good day to you all, lovely viewers. Thank you, and you are very welcome to Eben Tech Studio. Um, today's video is going to be very quick on how to project Methodist Ghana Methodist Hymnal Easy Worship Six, Easy Worship Seven, and then how to also project the Tree Bible as well. So all you need, first of all, is to download the database file, is to get it from the database. You can contact us and then get the database through your email or any, any of the platform, WhatsApp or Telegram that is showing on the screen. So I would like you to check in the description below and then read the disclaimer notice or copyright notice. Um, I don't assume to be the owner of the song lyrics. Okay. So read from the description below and if you have any comments or any question you can put there or contact us directly okay so without much i do let's open up easy worship six okay so this is a full database which contains methodist tree hymnal and then methodist english hymnal the can that is the can hymns and then the mhb hymns together with other pentecostal song lyrics after all you can't be in the um you cannot just be in the methodist church and then be singing only hymns for sure we've added um other pentecostal that is the Ghanaian local song our worship songs and then our worship praises um praises and worship songs that we usually sing in our churches it is very ideal for every church to sing than as in, in our churches okay so those hymn uh, hymns or some lyrics to have been added for worship or praise time okay so without much i do first of all you open up your easy worship 6 or easy worship 7 i'm using the demo version the demo version of easy worship 6 to demonstrate okay so you will see the watermark in there that is fine if you buy from um easy worship website you can register and then license your product then that watermark will be removed okay so without much i do first of all because the database is a full package and has been designed to be used by a methodist church um it is assumed that you are now doing a fresh installation and then you need a full lyrics and a tree by in your easy worship six or easy worship seven so what you have to do is that um I'm assuming you don't have any database at all. Maybe you, all what you have is the, the default song database that comes with e worship 6 or Easy Worship 7. Okay, so first of all, I don't have a database. I'm going to create a new profile. This, what you are seeing right now is just um, other databases, but I'm going to create a new profile. So what you have to do is that you open up your profile manager from the profile menu, and then you click on New to create a new profile okay so first of all let me just clear the new profile i'm going to give it um let me name it sada methodist this is just any name okay for let me just change it and make it even methodist church even methodist that will be okay then i click on OK button. Once I click on OK button, I choose switch to, meaning that I want to immediately use it. OK, I want to switch to that profile and start using it. So once I click on switch to, his worship is going to give me a dialogue. Wow. It is really taking some time, but it will come. Okay, so Easy Worship asks me add or remove demo data. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to install any database in there. I don't want any default song. Okay, don't worry. The default song you will get them in the databases we are going to add right now. So I will just click on cancel. So my database is empty without any song. Okay, without any song lyrics. So now I come back to profile then when i come back to profile I click on profile manager when i click on profile manager i click on the location instance okay or the instance location link i just click on it easy worship will take me to the um the folder where my databases are stored that is where my profile is so i open the v.61 the v6.1 i open databases folder 
I go to um data. So this is my data in here. But let me go back to the desktop. So when I come to my desktop, this is the file I've downloaded and then I've extracted from as a zip file or whatever I've extracted. So you can follow the readme first instructions to on how to do that as well. How to um copy and then add your databases or install. So I copy these five files. I copy them control C. I copy all these five files. And then I come back to the window is worship open for me, which is this one. And then once I get here, I paste it in here. When I'm asked to replace, I do the replacement. And that is it. Here I am I um, I close this window and then I start using my database. So first and foremost, on searching for the database, this is what you do. You expand the collections, the collection, expand the collections, the collection tree, expand it. Now, when you select can, it means you are going to search only your search, uh, your search criteria is going to be limited to the can him now okay that is about 344 songs okay so now if i want can 200 i just enter c a n 200 and that him will be there for me now we have taken much time to arrange these databases neatly for the presenter or whoever will control the, the laptop or your presentation software so that it becomes easy and very simple for the person to go on live okay so now this is what you do every hymn or lyrics have been organized according to verses and they are they have been labeled as well okay if there are any choruses to it will be labeled and if there are any refrain it will also be labeled okay so you just double click to go live but right now so these are your songs and then you are live in there okay so i'm not going to click on the live button because i'm not yet i haven't connected a monitor to you should i click on it you see me live here on the screen okay so that is it and i can just be controlling and then be going on live okay so let me switch back from the live view and then let's move on to mhb okay the mhb are usually the english hymnals okay in the methodist hymn book so I want M, sorry, MHB 100, I enter. That is it. One there is above all other. So if I want MHB 2, I just enter MHB 2. That is him number 2, English him number 2. Okay, so this is very simple. And everything has also been organized, just like I said, in verses, in, uh, in refrains, and then in choruses okay so now let's move on to um songs like pentecostal that means we are out of the methodist ghana methodist hymnal we are coming to normal songs okay abandoning here you see the normal songs are such that we don't really have um hymn numbers we just sing them you know some of them we sing and we, we don't even know who sang the song but everything has been entered in case you find any error you can just contact and then but pains have been taken to correct things over here so now let's move on to um other song as of you one here or so many things so you can search over here too as well now if you want a tree bible so you are not going to see the tree bible at the scripture tab that is one of the um saddest thing as as you would have seen um the other versions of the bible in here because currently we don't have the tree bible um file for for the scriptures okay so this is how it has been organized too as well so now we can search um let's say revelation enter rev very short revelation chapter five so just rev and then you move on to live so you select your verses from here and then there you are live you are going on okay so now let me minimize and show you the screen so it is 5s3 okay that is revelation 53 okay so that is it let me go back turn off the live and then expand the video okay so this is how it has been organized so based on what you are going to search uh, just click on it the reason why everything has been organized in collections is to help 
search very fast okay is to help speed up the searching so that you don't search when you click here you can search everything you want but it takes time so when it is organized then that means you are limited to searching can hymenals and other stuff okay and then when you are at mhb you can search when you are pentecostal too, you can search for the song lyrics and then when it comes to the tree bible you can search for anything so this time around there is no need for you to enter the full quotation or the full book the name of the book what you can do is that if it is john you just enter j o h give a space and then seven if john chapter seven verse four you can just click on it go live over here and then the verses will be loaded here so when it is loaded here you can just be using the arrow keys to move on and navigate it is changing right here and if i'm going live you will see it okay so that is it for um today and then i think there is one more thing that i need to show you you are not only limited to searching by the hymn number you can also search by the hymn a phrase in the hymn okay a phrase in the hymn so when i click here right now i've selected this one i know that the song we are singing is a tree song or an account song or whatever fancy song i just click on this small icon and then i select words when i select words anything let's say adam adam here i want a song that says adam here so as i'm searching easy worship will search for me and then you see i have it here okay so and that is scan what 204 it will also show you the preview tab okay and then if it is uh, the verse i want to go to live i'm there and then it will show over here too likewise you do same to um the methodist hymn book that is the english hymn now you do same and then you can also do same to um the pentecostal okay you can also do same to pentecostal now let me say you are searching by title okay if you are searching by title if you are searching by title you can also search you can also set the title and then but when you are searching by the title and then some of the lyrics um the, the title contains the title will never contain any tree character so if it is a, a as in the tree character just use e for because e is on the keyboard and you can easily find it and type but the lyrics are going to be to be in um to be in in their right characters as in the e characters okay so that is what you have to notice and then let's click the close search let's come back to this and then we can search by the hymn and number okay but as for the pentecostal songs from time to time it will be updated or you can add your own lyrics to it okay and then it has been done in such a way that if you add your own lyrics to it which is outside the Eng uh, the english hymnal or the tree hymnal by the methodist um as in the methodist in book it will be added to pentecostal okay automatically to be added to pentecostal as a category because it doesn't find itself to be in the him uh, the can him or the mhb okay so it will be added over there and that is other songs other songs perhaps you are not going to have the whole Ghanaian song in there for you but you can update that is when you click here add new song so the song editor opens you give your song a title then you can give it a label then you type your lyrics over here so you enter your lyrics over here you enter your your label over here you give it a title the label is not compulsory you can leave it as blank as you you like and then you click on the okay but labels have been added is in this case just to make it easy for the presenter or the media controller to um project with ease okay thank you very much for watching this video subscribe to the channel and the like and then for any comments you can send a whatsapp message or a telegram message or leave a comment in the youtube channel or email us too as well bye